morning students warmly welcome to adars educational institution it's my pleasure welcome you all to the online class so today we discuss the topic of motion in lesson number 2 already we discussed the unit 1 so today we discuss the second unit that means the motion so in a some topics we discuss today onwards rest and first one rest and motion and the types of motion distance and displacement speed velocity and acceleration the motion is the change in the position of an object with respect to in surroundings everything in the universe in, is in motion even though an object seems to be not moving actually it is moving because is moving around the sun you may see objects moving in your surroundings cars along the road trains along the track and aeroplanes in the sky are all moving this movements in one types of motion you may see the fan rotating in the ceiling this is the another type of motion when you are playing in swing it is moves to and fro this is also the types of motion one, 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 one type of motions the motion is described in terms of distance speed acceleration and time in this lesson we'll study about different types of different types and equations of motions we will also study about displacement velocity and acceleration so in this lesson the students will be able to list the objects which are at rest and motion and to understand the dist distance and displacement and to determine the distance covered by an object describe a circular path describing the circular path and classify uniform motion and non uniform motion and to distinguish between speed and velocity and to relate accelerate and and unaccelerate motion reduce the equations of motion of an object from velocity time graph and to write the equations of motion for a freely falling body and to understand the nature of circular motion and to identify the centripetal force and centrifugal force in day to day life so first topic rest and motion in object we do not change in their positions are said to be at rest when object do not change the position that means do not change in any any uh, change in any positions that means at rest when an object change the position are said to be in motion as well as a stay along a straight line or a circular or random these are all according to the motions are for example book lying on a table and the wall of a room are at rest the cars and buses running on the road birds and aeroplanes flying in the air are in the motion the motion is relative phenomenon this means that an object appearing to be in motion to one person can appear to be at rest as viewed by the another person for example tree on road side would appear to move backward for a person traveling in a car while the same tree would appear to be at rest for a person standing on road side so next one the types of motion the motion it classified into four types one is one, one is the linear and another one is a circular and oscillatory and then random motion these are the four types of motions so let us we discuss the types of motions so first one linear motion the linear motions along a straight line the more the the path the straight line it according to, to travel in a straight line that means a linear motion the circular motions is called the motion along a circular path like a wall clock the wall clock it rotates in a circular path that means a needle and then oscillatory motions the repeated repetitive to and fro motions to a, of an object at regular interval of time that means a pendulum if you know the pendulum the pendulum it has to and fro it, it will move to and fro motions that means the oscillatory motions and random motion the motion of the object which is not does not fall in any of the above category that means the it, it cannot follow the linear circular and the oscillatory this uh, these are all the 
linear and then circular and oscillatory it cannot apply the this this three motions it the random motion has moved to anywhere and everywhere everywhere of the motions it can move the random it, that means the if you know the dust in a sunlight the sunlight traveling in a window or a wall it means the dust if you show if you see the dust particle the dust particles it moves randomly through the motions that means random motion the motion of an object which does not fall in any of the object categories that means next one is the uniform and non-uniform motion uniform motions that means an object is said to be in uniform motion it covers equal distance in equal interval of time that means uniform motions consider a car which covers 60 kilometers in first hour and then 60 kilometer in second hour and another 60 kilometer in third hour and so on the car covers equal distance at equal interval of time so that means the uniform motions and non-uniform motions the non-uniform an object is said to be in non-uniform motion it covers equal distance in e equal interval of times so an object is said to be a non-uniform motion it covers unequal distance in equal interval of time so that means when i consider a bus a starting and one starting from one stop it proceeds slowly when it is passes through a crowded area on the road suppose it manages to travel traveled merrily 100 meters in 5 minutes due to heavy traffic and is able to travel about 2 kilometers in 5 minutes when the road is clear. Hence, the motion of the bus is non-uniform that is it travel unequal distance in equal interval of time. And the next one is the distance and displacement. Consider a body moving from the point A that means the point A and then point B. So it moves along the path given to the figure. Already, if I show the, if you see the figure, this figure, it reaches the point B. So when a person A to to when a person standing in a A to reach the position of B places. Suppose if you are considered as A is, is considered as a home, or as well as B is considered as a schools. So when a home to if you went to school, if you travel along a B. So that means the one of the path that means the total length of the path traveled by a body from A to B is called as distance traveled by the body. The length of the straight line A to B is called as displacement of a body. So let us discuss the distance. The actual length of the path traveled by a moving body irrespective of the direction is called as distance traveled by the body. It is measured in meter in SI systems. That means it is measured in meter and it is a scalar quantity because they have magnitude only so that's why it's a scalar quantity and next one is the displacement displacement is defined as the change in position of a moving body in a particular direction it is a vector quantity because of both magnitude and magnitude and directions that's why it is called as a vector quantity and is also measured in meter and next one we discuss the speed so the speed is the quantity which shows how fast the body is moving but the velocity is the quantity which shows the speed as well as the direction of the moving body so first one speed the speed is the rate of change of distance or the distance traveled in unit time in a particular time the speed so it is a scalar quantity the SIC unit, unit of speed is meter per second meter per second because of distance traveled covered by time taken so distance that means distance is equal to meter and time taken is, is equal to seconds so speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken so meter divided by seconds that means meter per seconds so the formula speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken distance traveled by time get taken so the rate of change of distance or a distance traveled in unit time it is a that means a speed and the next one is the velocity the rate of change of displacement it is a displacement in unit time it's a vector quantity because of it is a SI unit of vector quantity is meter per seconds because of velocity is equal to displacement by time taken displacement by time taken 
so velocity is equal to displacement by time taken this unit is meter per second and the next one is the acceleration acceleration is the rate of change of velocity or change of velocity unit in unit time it is a it is also a vector quantity the acceleration this is the formula for acceleration acceleration is equal to change in velocity by time taken the change in velocity that means for final velocity minus initial velocity so that means acceleration is equal to a and then final velocity is denoted as v and then initial velocity is denoted as u and v minus u divided by t this is the acceleration consider in a situation which a body moves in a straight line without reversing its directions from the above equations so if it is v is greater than u that is the final velocity is greater than initial velocity the velocity increase with the time and the value of acceleration is positive and the value of acceleration is positive if it is v is less than u that is if final velocity is less than initial velocity the velocity decreases with the time and the value of acceleration is negative it is called negative acceleration it is called as negative acceleration it is called as negative acceleration negative acceleration is called as retardation or deceleration retardation or deceleration if the acceleration has a value of minus 2 meter meter per second square meter per second square we say that the deceleration is 2 meter per second square so thanks for watching so don't skip the videos so next class we shall discuss the examples problems and the graphical representation of motion along a straight line. Thank you.